everyone. A Fort Payne man is presumed dead after an undertow pulled him in while snorkeling in Guam. Family members say he drowned while trying to save a friend. WFO 48 Savannah Sapp joins us live from Fort Payne. Savannah family members remember Clay Harris as the kind of man who would do anything for his friend. Right, Liz. His family says he was a former Marine who dedicated most of his life to helping others. His family also says he was in Guam for his job doing hurricane cleanup when he and a friend decided to go snorkeling and tragedy struck. You can't trust the sea. <laughs> it suddenly changed on them and covered them with a 15 to 20 foot way. Marilyn Taylor says her son Clay Harris and a friend were snorkeling off a beach in Guam on Sunday when an undertow took them out to sea. While fighting the strong current, Harris pushed his friend over a reef to safety but never returned to shore. Taylor says within 15 minutes, the United States Coast Guard began the search for her son. It was 62 hours of searching and he was never found. He is presumably dead at sea. Taylor and her daughters say it's difficult to cope because they cannot lay clay to rest. There's, there's a lot of red tape. If there's not a body, if it's not only not closure, you can't do anything. And we, we can't have a funeral. <laughs> Harris's sister, Lindy Vizina, says her brother was a former Marine who loved the outdoors and serving others. And the Lord tells us, go and serve. And, uh, and that's truly what he, he died doing in a place that he loved underwater. <laughs> he loved it. His other sister, Marcy Davis, says the past few days have been devastating, but they are finding comfort wherever they can. We stepped out on mom's porch that day. Mm -hmm. It hadn't been an hour. And there was the most beautiful rainbow in the sky. We went from side to side. And mom and Lindy and I are art teachers. And we love color. And what did you say? He's there. He's there. He's not here. Now, according to the family, Clay's co-workers are still in the area searching for any sign of his body. If nothing changes, the family does plan to have a visitation service within the next coming weeks. Clay was just 50 years old. Reporting live in Fort Payne, Savannah Sapp, 48 News on your side.